this booty on that day and you went straight from the church I just know it so how can this be here how can this be here unless you're daddy you made it out of that crash alone What are you doing here? Nice to see you, too. Um, I'm sorry. I just, of course, you're here. Half your family works here. Yeah, I'm looking for Frank. Me, too. I, um, I had a question for him about Jonathan and Sarah's accident. I don't know. I thought maybe if I could look at the police report, there might be something in there that could help me deal with it better. It must be a hard time for you. Yeah, that's why I... Thought maybe there might be something well, in maybe there. Maybe you could ask Mallard or Marina. For no, I, yeah, I really thought that Frank would be the one to talk about this with me. You know what? I'm gonna come back. Bye, Buzz. Honey, I'm home. This worse. Please don't make this worse. The room is spinning. My, my jeans are wet. It doesn't get worse. Shut up. When people say that, it always does. Dad, are you in the shower? You know what? You know what? Keep it running, you sexy beast. I'm coming in. <laughs> right. It does get worse. <laughs> this is probably completely insane. Mom, Nana. The number you have reached is no longer in service. <laughs> no longer in service? Would Jonathan have his phone turned off? Hey, I was just thinking about you. How you holding up? I was just gonna ask you that. <laughs> I can't believe this. I just... I think I'm holding it all together. You know? And then all of a sudden, I... <laughs> you too? Yeah. <laughs> I just can't believe both our kids. And Jonathan's baby. I... Ugh, look at me. I'm, I'm here a minute and already. I'm here to be of help to you. Yes. Honey. Yes. <laughs> you were there for me in the end. And I want to be there for you. I want to... I want to plan a memorial service for Jonathan and Sarah. Oh, n no, um... I... I don't... I don't think a memorial service would be a good idea. Please let me do this for you. Cassie, I'm grateful, I am, but I, um, I need to say goodbye in, in my own way, in my own time. You haven't accepted that they're gone? No, it's not that. Honey, you have to accept that they're gone. As hard as it is, and as much as you're hoping and expecting that someone's gonna come along and tell you that it's all a big misunderstanding. I, I love you, sis. I, I really love you, but... Then listen to me. I, I can't. Listen to me. Let me help you like you helped me, okay? The funeral was the worst thing I've ever been through, but to feel the love in that room, it helped, even for one day. It, it no, helped. no, no. I, I don't think Jonathan would, would, would like that. He'd hate it if... Uh, well, if I were planning some kind of cry fest for him. But it's not really for him, then. It's for you. No. And I will take care of everything. I, I can't do it. And I, I don't want you to do it. I mean, why in the world would you ever want to plan another funeral? Because I will never forget how happy he made my daughter. And I'll just always be grateful. <laughs> At least they're together now.
January 17th. It's happening so fast. Yesterday, Jonathan was married to Lizzie. And today, I'm at the church. Waiting for my groom to get here. We're done thinking about our future. We're making it happen. Pulling off our wedding in one day. What a cool story to tell our kids someday. It's me again. You followed me here? I don't need a babysitter, Grandpa. I told you I'm fine. I'm fine, okay? Oh, my God. I'm such a freak. long enough because I just I can't get used to this losing people I You know what, fine. I'll go out there, I'll distract him, and then you pass by us, okay? Wait, wait, we passed you? Yeah. What's the problem? Why I'm, get... well, I'm drunk, not invisible. Okay, Remy, do you remember Mallet? He suspended you this morning. Now you are liquored up, half naked with his girlfriend in the shower, okay? I'm not just trying to protect my wet butt here. There be, better be some hot water in there for me. <laughs> what are you doing? Oh! What are you doing? Oh, I'm so excited to see you. Oh, why are you all wet? Because I was in the shower. With your clothes on? Yeah, I was multitasking. You were multitasking? Yeah, I haven't done the laundry in a week, so I you thought, why not? You've done laundry? Yeah, come here. Just what go with we, it. What? <laughs> yeah, I, I thought we got... Oh, okay. oh. oh. Hello, hello. Mm. Oh. Mm. Someone might tell me what the hell's going on here. Thank you so much. So, I was saying to Remy, you are having a bad day. Your wash machine's breaking down. You're spilling chili all over yourself. You're getting suspended. Yeah, you're a mess. So, I offered to have him do the laundry at our place. We don't have a washer. Our shower removes stains like you can't believe, honey. Right? So what prevented Remy from doing his laundry in his shower? His pipes were broken. Or frozen, I think, right? Wow, Remy sounds like you got a real fixer-upper there. Yeah, you know what? He decides to get his laundry done. I decide to help him. I get in there, fall, almost hit my head. Tremendous laugh. But we have an opportunity to talk about some ideas for our new show. It was really very nice. I'm gone. Remy, tell Mallet about our great ideas that we came up with. This wasn't one of them. Remy? Well, I'm sure there's some hot water left. Do you want to do some laundry? I'm okay now. I could stay. I promise. I could stay. No, really, it's okay. You can go. I'm fine. And I really need to get back to this. You're sure you're going to be okay? Yes, I'm fine. You can go. Thank you. And thank you for following me. Grandpa, I told you. 
What happened to you? Got suspended this morning. Yeah. I heard. I'm sorry. I need to start raining. Did. Oh. I mean... Remind me not to light a match near your mouth. Did you leave any alcohol in the bottle? So? <laughs> well, just go home. You go home. I'll finish this. Uh, great. You too. Now, Romy, if my dad sees you like this... He sees me what? He take away my gun and badge. It's too late. I can't believe she saved this. You know what? I'm, uh... I'm gonna keep this place open. You're gonna run the bar? Yeah, I wanna... I, and not just keep it. I wanna keep it going, you know? Because I wanna be able to think about Jonathan every time I uncap a bottle of beer and every time I hear a motorcycle revving its engine outside. You are so... Strong. No, no. Yeah. Oh, no, 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 no. Believe me, you I mean, are the strong one, Cassie. You are. No, I, I had Tammy all of her life, most of her life, and, and you just got Jonathan back, and you've been fighting so hard just to be here, to, to, to be here for them. Yeah, well, a lot of good it did me in the end. There wasn't anything I could do. I know. You know, I thought it was back. The cancer, did Josh tell you that? We got the, the good news right before we heard about Tammy. We shouldn't talk about that right now. About what? I know about the deal that Alan offered you. You would keep Jonathan away from Lizzie and the baby. Oh, and Cassie, he would help no, you. there was no deal because I didn't take him up on that. I know about the kiss, too. Josh well, that was it. my fault. That really was my fault. I got all caught up in the, in the moment and... I was the one who, who asked Josh to come with me because you needed him. I understand that because I need him too. But I need you also. You're my sister and I love you. And we're the only two people on the whole planet who really knows how the other feels right now. Thank God no one else will believe me. Jonathan and Sarah, they're alive. Oh no, oh, no, don't do that. What? We're half naked, come on, let's make the most of it. Nah, I'm gonna do some laundry. Gonna get in the shower. Now, I'm kind of new to this. I don't know. Do I leave my shoes on? Okay, come on. You caught me. I made up the whole thing, okay? Just don't hold it against Remy, all right? I'm the one who threw him in there. You threw Remy in the shower. What, you've been taking steroids? He was in that gray area of drunk and stupid drunk. Okay, you know how it is. No, I don't know how it is. When's the last time you were called to get me off of a table in a bar? Oh, God. I have not done that in a very long time. Remy has lost his job, he lost Tammy, and if I left him at outskirts in the shape he was in, who knows what would have happened. So you brought him here to sober him up and to keep him out of trouble? Yes! Well, I would have tried a pot of coffee, but hey, if a shower works. No, I tried coffee, I tried room service, nothing worked. Look, forget it. Just don't hold it against him and make things harder for him at work. Just... Stay away from him, okay? Why? He's a good kid. Yes, he is. He's a good kid. Yeah, so? Why wouldn't I help him? Why wouldn't I be with him? <sighs> what? Oh, I see. I see. Okay. Hmm? No, 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 no. Come here. I want to talk to you. Now, I love... I love how unpredictable you are. No, you don't. Okay. But sometimes I find it endearing. Now listen, not everyone um, have, have you ever seen one of those funnel clouds? You're comparing me to a funnel cloud? That's nice. Listen, uh, when you get worked up over something, okay, even if it's a good thing like helping Remy, 
Sometimes anything or anybody that stands in your way, that gets in your path, is kind of toast. Okay, you know that, all right, Dinah? Yes! Listen to me. I understand that, okay? I can handle that. I know when to take you seriously and when to throw you over my shoulder. Remy doesn't. He doesn't have to. I have you. He's a young guy, okay? He's very impressionable. And with what he's going through right now, he needs people around him that are calm, that are yeah, stable. What are you getting at, exactly? You're telling him it's okay to look for revenge. You're telling him it's okay for him to do what he did to that kid. Well, it is. No, it's not. It's but not okay. No, be. he can't do that. Because if he keeps doing it, he's going to end up where you did. Uh, I need to be a better influence on Remy. Yeah, you need to be a better influence on Remy. Okay, or stay away from him. months ago I don't even remember what movie it was I remember she hawked the popcorn <laughs> <laughs> I think I should have just flushed my ten dollars down the toilet yeah that would have been more fun to watch <laughs> I like the movie <laughs> I'm sorry Remy <laughs> which part exactly did you like well I'm not telling you now oh you know what I bet he liked the hot actress the one with the lisp. Okay, wait, it was not <laughs> oh a lisp, all right? It was an accent. Oh, uh, whatever. <laughs> I like the ending. You see? You know, where they roll the credits. So then I knew we could leave. <laughs> I think that's good. I'm going to pick the movie next time. <laughs> so there's a next time. Yeah, I love this whole roommate night thing. Go out to eat, go to the movie. Gets my mind off of... When are we going to do it again? I just have to check my schedule at work. It's been kind of nuts lately. Now, how come she's always busier than you are? Well, I'm not the TV star. Oh, shut up. <laughs> so what about you, Winslow? Uh, I, I don't want to be on TV. Well, I know, but you must want to be something. No, I'm not even finished with college. <laughs> you know what? We will write down on a napkin what we want to do in 10 years. Okay. You got a pen? Yeah. I say number one on the list is I hope we are not still living together. That is first on the list. <laughs> she wanted to teach the second grade. And be raising her kids with Jonathan at that little house that she liked by the cove. Well, things change. I don't. No. Put down, I was going to be chief of police. Ah, oh, Lizzie, honey, you need to calm down. Cassie, can you grab that glass of water? No, I don't listen want it. Me. Look, listen. This is Sarah's booty. I found it here behind the bar. Okay, Lizzie, let's you and me go take a walk. No, no, Riva. You are upsetting her. Look, this is the booty that Sarah was wearing at Tammy's funeral. I found it here. The accident happened right after she was wearing this when her and Jonathan... Tell me. Tell me how it could have gotten here. You're remembering it that way, Lizzie, because you want to remember it that way. I mean, your brain does... It does things. The things I've been seeing lately... No! No, I am not imagining this. It was... This. I got these for her for Christmas. They are the only ones that fit her perfectly. Okay. Jonathan, put these on her. You remember, right, Reva? Time to go, Lizzie. Wait, wait, wait. Wait, right, wait. What about the phone? Okay, I tried to call him, and the phone service. It, the phone is out of service. You tried to call Jonathan today? Yes, to see if he would pick up. That is enough. Is that the first thing you did, Cassie, when Tammy died? Did you turn off her phone service? This just happened. Who? Who is in the big rush? What if he did this? What if he did this? So that we wouldn't be able to find him. This is, this is totally something oh, Jonathan would do, and you know that. They made it out of that car, Reva. They oh, are out there, and I know it. Is, no. Stop it, would you just stop? You're not you listening to me! My baby is alive! And my baby is dead! Because of you! Let's just go, Reva, let's go! Cassie, honey, 
You go. You go. I need to stay here. I'm going to take care of this. I need to talk to her about this. Please, I'll be okay. You just go. I'm calling you. Go. You believe me? No, I would know it if my baby were dead. I'm her mother. I'm not getting that. My gut is telling me that she is alive. And if she is, then, then Jonathan is. And then that means that you're having the same feeling. When you came in here, you said that no one would believe you. How many other people did you tell this to? Just you and Cassie. Are you kidding me? My mom has Ravenwood on speed dial, but I am not crazy. I am right. And I am going to do whatever it takes to find my baby. No one gives me enough credit. Okay, but I am a Spalding. And if there is one thing that we know how to do, it is to never give up and always get what we want. Lizzie, honey, I'm so sorry. Why? That feeling that you're talking about, I don't have it. What about the booty? And, and the phone service? How can you... I'm not crazy! No, no. no. When I saw the outfit that you bought for Sarah, I bought sets of them because they looked so cute and I knew that Jonathan would be losing them all over the place. No, no, and the no. phone, and the phone, sweetie, the phone, I did that. I, I turned off the phone and I paid all of his first thing that you did. Because I had to do something to keep myself from going crazy. No. No. I'm her mother. Why would I feel like she's still alive if she's gone? What kind of mother would feel like that? No, Jonathan is your baby and she's mine. How can I not feel it like you do? Cassie, I got your message, so I thought I would just um, we, we have it taken care of, so you, you, I mean, if you, if you want to... No, um, no, I'm, I'm fine. I'm fine, um... No. Oh. <sighs> this is her favorite. <laughs> well, it was, it was. I'm sorry, um... It's okay. It's okay. You know what? We can finish up later. No, no. You guys, you know, you're, you're almost done, it looks like, and... You've already done so much. No, I would have not be done. Well, Alan, I mean, I can't tell you. Just knowing that he's locked up and, you know, it gives me something to hold on to. It makes me feel like something's being done for Tammy. What? Is that weird? Oh, uh, Cassie. Uh, we had to let him go. What? The DA released Alan. Apparently there wasn't enough evidence to no, hold him. No, he confessed to me. I mean, he almost confessed to me. And Frank saw the whole thing. He was right there. It, it doesn't mean that we can't still do something. I mean, he's out for now, but we are going to... So he's out. He's out, but my daughter's in the ground. Uh, you know what? I'm sorry. I am going to have to come back later. No, we'll go with you. No, it's okay. I'm... Thank you. Thank you for everything. I'm sorry about before. The shower? No. Before, before. What are you talking about? You're, you're the only person who hasn't lectured me today. And you get me. Yeah, I do get you, but I'm wrong. Okay. I'm lectured out. Uh, 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 just sit down for a second, please. What I'm trying to say is that the fact that I get you is a bad thing. 
It's a very bad thing because you don't want to be anything like me, Remy. I mean, I think that you don't really see it when it's happening. Give it a few years and you wake up and you realize that you hate everything in the world and everybody in it. And then you wake up at home alone. Or maybe worse, you, you really screw up and you wake up in jail by yourself. And that's exactly why I'm here right now trying to wake you up. I'm awake. I have coffee. Yeah. Yeah, you are awake, but I tell you, it's really interesting. Like that, it's gone. Like that. You wake up, and it's gone. All the good stuff in life, all the stuff you love. And the worst part, it was all your fault. This should not have happened to Tammy, okay? Not to her. I, hey, you know what? I know that. I know that. But it did, okay? It did. It's done. You can't change anything, so you can drink yourself into oblivion. You can go out and you can hit the bad guys all you want. But it's not going to change anything. You've already lost your job today. So please don't lose anything else, okay? That's all I'm saying here. Are you with me? Yeah. Yep, yeah, I'm with you. You in there, Ellen? Celebrating? Having a good time? Going on with your life like nothing ever happened. Mom? Mom, what are you doing? I'll have a hot chocolate. Make it a double. Yeah, finish it, Tammy's. So you followed me here. You were right before. I needed some family time. Just kind of a break from everything. Extra mini marshmallows? Please. Thank you. How do you do it? The mini marshmallows? No. What? Grandma Nadine and Jenna. How did I go on? Yeah. Me? You could have just said, that's it, I'm done with love, but you didn't. You found it again, and you're getting married again. I, uh... Didn't. Aren't you afraid that... I didn't have a choice. Aren't you afraid of losing it? Yeah. Oh, why keep doing it if it hurts so much to lose it? Well... That wouldn't be living. That'd be existing. God, I wish I was like you. After everything that happened to Tammy, though, I mean, just when she was finally at her happiness, it just, it really shakes up everything that I believe in. It shakes it up. It doesn't go away. It never goes away. You. Are you glad you're home? Yeah, but you were the one that walked out. I went to go see Remy. Oh, good. Right after we talked about you staying away from him. Yeah, but I think I really got him to back off that whole revenge thing. Really? Yeah. I'm so proud of you. And I am sorry. Sorry. Oh, for being in the shower with a strange man. No. For, well, yeah. But for being jealous of you, your show... And your partner, Marina. Right. Where's where's all this coming from? Look, I just, um, I don't want to lose you over stupid stuff again. And you are the only one who can take me seriously and pick me up and throw me over your shoulder. Like now? <laughs> you did kind of compare me to a funnel cloud. I like funnel clouds. Oh, ah! 
I'm sorry I called you a cloud. Is there anything I can do to make it up to you? Well, we could do some laundry. We could stay right here and do our own spin cycle. Didn't expect to see you here today, Boudreau. I want to see the chief. He's not around. He's sorry you're having such a rough time. I brought it on myself. I got a lot to make up for. Well, look, the chief's pretty good at second chances. I mean, he's had his own run-ins with Alan Spaulding. Yeah. What is it about that guy? I don't know. Damn nearest luckiest guy in the world, if you ask me. Alan Spaulding? They released him today. You look so beautiful. You're remembering me on one of my good hair days. I didn't tell you enough, right? I told you how beautiful you are. Yes. How smart and how special. Yes, you did. How long are you going to stand out here? I don't know. It's a little weird. You get that, right? Yeah, I know. I, I, I don't really remember driving here. I just kind of showed up. So what now? We lost so much. We had a lot, too. Yeah, but this was our turn, Tammy. You know, I mean, we went through so much of the bad stuff together. This, this was when things were getting good, you know, and you were happy. Yes, I was, and I got the good. Until Alan took it away from you. And he took you away from me. <laughs> I miss you so much. I just, I, I don't know what to do now. You let it go. That's what you do. You let this go. Please, Mom. We can't. We can't. We can't just let him get away with it. Mom, go get in your car and go home to Josh and RJ. You just said it. We were just getting to the good. Don't ruin that by being angry for the rest of your life. Please, Mom, let it go. But if I let it go, it means letting you go. I'm ready now. For the memorial? I am ready to say goodbye to Sarah. Not yet, not yet, not yet. Just give me another second. 